Oh, mother clucking. All right. We have another game for you today, and I am looking forward to casting this one for you. This has some twists, some turns, and some house earns for the commerce. That's right. This is the house rush strategy. Starting off with two instantaneous villagers forward and loom. Good luck. Have fun. But this is going to turn into an absolute dumpster fire in a matter of minutes. So you start off the Khmer house rush with sending two villagers forward. Also, just to let you know, I have not seen past the first two minutes of the game, but I did have Chunky Magnets, who is in the blue, explain this game to me. Find the sheep, blame the sheep. Well, that's not a sheep poop lord, that's a mother clucking goat. I don't know why I'm saying mother clucking. I guess uh, I'm in the mood of Old McDonald's had a farm. E -ya, e -ya, yo, my daughter's been watching that song way too flipping much. Also, finding the boar and the deer here is huge. Wait, are there two patches of deer? No, that deer is just really, really far out. Far out deer, man. Totally radical. Actually, did you know that Chunky Magnets is from California? So it could be a radical deer here. This is hilarious. <laughs> block what you need to do. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. Just block the boar. Now the boar will lose aggro. Um, no, no. Um, run. Oh, God, no. That's a dead village. Is it not? How did that villager survive? Don't question things. He's pretty rad as well. Uh, this villager might still go down due to this scout. That scout needs to come back over just to save this villager. And it's already a messy game right off of the start. Chunky Magnets sending most of his villagers onto food. But I would not be surprised if additional villagers come forward in order to build a lumber camp in the front. Look at this trickle over here. The villagers marching one by one. Hurrah. Hurrah, the villagers marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah, shooting all your be here and trying to get a bull. Do, 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 house whoa, walls. So the crazy thing about a house wall is that you can, with Khmer, hop into the house. And this is where the first strategy comes in and then hop out on the other side. So this is actually a beautiful house wall right here because he could whenever he wanted to jump into this area in which case red would have to either delete the lumber camp or ooh, gets that right before wow the messiness of the vil fighting this really does remind me of the berber villager rush a lot if you don't know what the berber villager rush is a lot of these kind of vil rushy um polish vil rush strategies are based on the berber villager rush not, I don't know if it was designed by Drill Time or not, but who cares? Here, here it goes. Oh man, it's the house rush. Let's go. Let's go. Now, sending all these villagers out is actually tricky. Yeah. And <laughs> oh, right only now getting loomed. So now you could hop back into this house. You could hop out to that house. And then, oh, oh my gosh, the beauty of this. This is so hilarious. Before Loom comes in, snipe him, snipe him. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Him having to elite the lumber camp in order to get out. And the funniest part is you can actually cause the villagers to lose aggro by means of hopping into your houses and then hopping back out. So that is what he's trying to do. Whenever a villager is being aggro, he's going to hop that villager into the house and then he's going to hop him out of the house absolute insanity okay so this woman is going to hop into this house now now they're all idle and now we can fight them again this is the house rush strategy with Khmer. there's so many other things that are going on at this point that i haven't even start to discuss yet like for example where is he getting wood does he have any wood well he probably has some on straggler trees over here just so that he can create a forward lumber camp at some point hopping into those houses whenever he has the opportunity and this is out there this is really really 
out there in my opinion constructing houses in important spots oh you're coming to vilfight me that's cool <laughs> hop right into that house now this does not heal this villager but it does allow for a lot more mobility and a lot more craziness like for example red might be trying to palisade wall you can actually hop through which we showed in the sicilian spaghetti drop on arena through certain walled off areas by means of house walls for example if the mill had another palisade wall over here you could then jump in to that area but if it's two walls connected say for example here if these were fully constructed you would not be able to jump through that so this is safe but that area right here could then hop into there so that is just something to be aware of wonderful wonderful exploitations uh, i'll probably make a video about that exploit a little bit later on when you can and cannot jump things but these berries are no longer safe the houses are in place and i would not be surprised if chunky magnets eventually got enough wood for a tc drop at some point i'm also really surprised that he has not constructed a forward lumber camp yet but hey chunky you do you absolute insanity it's like the lu -lu 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 i guess if you're caught out away from your houses that is quite bad to say the least is red even collecting any wood he's collecting straggler trees i suppose and now he's going to probably co collect make a lumber camp over here junkie magnus really just needs to keep his opponent off of wood to the best of his ability if i was in junkie magnus position at this point i would be desperately looking for my opponent's wood knowing that it was somewhere around here but he's just going to, <laughs> he's just going to try and house him he needs two more houses in order to house him though uh this actually bodes really really well for you seeing something like this occur means that he is not on wood but actually secretly he is he is going to be transitioning into a whole bunch of farms which makes it perfect for tc dropping 26 versus 26 villagers food definitely in red's favor due to that faster collecting farming eco chunky magnus eco at home <laughs> high quality now when you do one of these strategies it can be very very tricky to lure these boar but i highly recommend this is just 340 food times two sit in there 380 food that collects quite quickly i highly recommend that you do take advantage of those boars when you are going for a crazy house rush berber villager rush or whatever it is really really even but if red can get up to Feudal Age, this might all go astray. All oh, stealing the farms as well. What an absolutely wonderful dumpster fire. Oh, God, no, no, no. Try to desperately get some more farms. I don't agree with that decision, but hey, you do you. Like these farms over here that are slightly out of range of the TC could actually be taken. I, I don't even know what to think of it. Oh, no. My goodness, one after the other, the villagers are going down. Scouts uh, does not seem like a decision that I would go for. So what he could do here, actually, I think he can jump through this house to the other side. Let's see if that is the case or not. Nope, there is the TC. Huh, I don't know if this was the best spot for it, but it definitely is going to allow him to get through this. I don't agree with the tower from red. I think you should simply just admit defeat in that regard. Now you cannot create another TC. It looks like it is in range. That's a lot of scouts. So hopping into houses wherever they can. Snipe the weak one. Snipe the weak scouts and hop back into the house. Oh, he's losing so many villagers to the TC fire. Everybody's eco is completely idle. And I don't even know what i am watching at this point i believe chunky magnets is about 1300 1v1 elo and what an absolute wonderful dumpster fire this is i thought this was actually going to be out of range but it must be like right on the edge i really wish that i could get the range mod on capture age this tower is completely useless should have actually put this 
way closer then it would have actually gotten value out of it it's just shooting this house if he does get fletching maybe it ranges now i i still don't think it does i think he has to just put this closer the amount of wood for both players is minuscule but chunky magnets tc is significantly lower than that of reds now another trick that you can do when you find yourself in such a crazy situation uh probably just want to let this go i mean this is also something you can do i'm not denying that this is definitely this is like a last ditch effort if this tc does not go down right now you are royally and i mean royally at what I was trying to say before is when your TC... Oh my god, they're going to trade TCs. They're going to trade TCs. What am I watching? What are those? What are those? This can't be repaired anymore. This couldn't be repaired prior. And now both TCs have gone down. What I was trying to say is you could actually, I, I, I can't even finish my freaking sentence. This game is so action packed. What I was trying to say is that you can technically walk around the outer edge of the TC. That way the TC will fire at your villager and not your town center. Thus allowing you to not take damage and potentially win the TC war without needing any wood more than your opponent opponent because you're not getting shot also red seems to be significantly in the favor in terms of villagers here so chunky magnets should be retreating or pulling these additional villagers to even out the overall vill count 20 to 24 for red definitely in a more favorable position is already in feudal age but Chunky Magnets <laughs> has a whole bunch of houses. <laughs> Every Igniter player has a TC. Which does mean that if Chunky Magnets grabs all of his dudes and like drops the TC right over here and takes all of these farms, he might not be in the worst position uh, after all. Or if he drops a TC over here. I think this is probably my favorite TC spot would be right here or right here. Thus being on the wood line of red. But there's no way here. Here. Okay. Uh, this is definitely bad from red. You should not be committing nine villagers to hunt down two weak ones. You can literally... Oh, that's also a bad decision. I was going to say keep one villager on there to make sure that you know where they are and then have the scout hunt them down because red right now he has no vi vision on those villagers right as this tc is definitely going to be going up he doesn't know where they are so now he has to find them and chunky magnus could be hiding them in the corner over here he could have already walked over here he could be on a wood line over here you don't know when you are red actually he just hid them in the corner which i would have looked first but hey what do i know wood camp over here this is a lot of wood though that red is losing uh, let me see how many farms there are six plus an additional five eleven farms totaling 660 wood dang that's a lot of wood what is this game what am i even watching the Khmer house rush now, Chonky did tell me that he kind of butchered the strategy in this particular game and it turns into an absolute dumpster fire. But do you guys think this is an actual legitimate strategy? Also, you do not need to. <laughs> quick walls! Quick walls! I think it's so funny when people go for quick walls or super intensive micro of their archers and stuff like that. Meanwhile, half their eco at home is completely idle. This was completely unnecessary. Chunky Magnets is collecting food where his opponent is not. Balululu normalized? Like, is this is this normalized at this point? I have no idea. There's also just like a lot of red houses that he could just delete in order to get into this area. Uh, nonetheless, uh, keep 
continually trying to keep fighting that scout is chunky i would just send him into this house and then hop over and do a whole bunch of damage to that tower i don't think it is necessary for him to do what he is doing tower over here that tower should be denied and should be deleted and now can take down all of these villagers there are only he could take down everything in this area everything the eye can see which is one singular woman and once again just like i said with red chasing after chunky you should not be committing three villagers to chase down one villager one guy is actually going to have the same effect oh look at him walking backwards <laughs> as having free chased it so all you really need to do is take these two off have this guy chase her and if he brings you two more villagers great you can then chase that down taking down that tower as i predicted in my mind he would i, I didn't say it out loud because i'm not that pro and somehow some way it is 25 26 villagers in advantage for chonky versus reds 25 i am so confused how this has happened uh micro this villager micro your little heart out you can kill both of them if you just but he's trying to block with the scout this guy man this red guy i think this is 1200 1300 elo which is relatively high <laughs> the villager does manage to escape i lied you should always commit every single villager you have to hunt down the woo man the woo man must die but red has thankfully reinvested into his farming eco and now has more villagers on food than chonky has although chonky has more food in the bank what is this game the house rush goes south that is for sure because at this point you really don't want to be house rushing anymore oh he's actually going to house him talking about house rushing um housed right wrong he constructed another one. Oh, he constructed another two but if he actually kept going with that then he would have been housed destroying all of the production buildings is chunky i think rather than taking down that barracks which isn't doing a whole bunch because it's next to your tc should be focusing on taking down these stables which has actively been producing scouts but pff, what do i know i'm just a poop lord a film poop lord also if it was me in this situation i would be going balls to the walls and i would be sending villagers through these houses into that tower and smacking that tower uh because it's it's unprotected and taking that down yeah i, I like this play a lot more actually going for some ranges onto gold and just a standard 42 minute um, feudal time with both TCs being in the same screen over here. Yeah, I mean, it's standard stuff. Uh, I do like the addition of archers from red. I think that can be very, very strong. Chunky opting for his own archers with spearmen. I think that's a little bit of an overcommitment on spearmen, especially since you just took down blues stable i think you can kind of assume that he is either over in this area because you saw the tower and stuff over here or that he has gone to the middle at this point and is just combining a whole bunch of gold what are you going to get with gold archers therefore i would be taking into skirmishers and i would be trying to get up to the next age and potentially pumping out some knights as there's no walling your base off at this point right the the first person who makes it to castle age is going to have a huge advantage yet yeah, now realizes that this is over here the spearmen are coming forward have to disengage because they're getting shrecked for engage from chunky but he is first to castle age like i said oh i don't know about the double range here i, I don't like it i think it's a bad decision I think two or three knights clears up absolutely everything that red possesses. Also, I do not like that red invested so much into this feudal aggression. Skirmishers or knights is going to make short work 
of this is six villagers down but red still has yet to click up the castle although castle should be coming should be coming meow wait what meow okay uh, what just look at how much stone he has on the bank he must have a couple of stone miners that have been there forever could actually drop a castle if he does make it to castle age this game could go on for a lot longer what the f did i sign up for i thought i was just looking at a freaking like oh it's gonna be a nice little short house rush game gonna end in in feudal or whatever it is no this 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 game just went to freaking dumpster fire and a half as i mentioned one night does wonders over here killing absolute Killing almost everything second night on the way. Actually, getting like two or three nights out before engaging would have been massive. Yeah, one by one by one. Uh, only archers really... <laughs> archers laughing was hilarious. <laughs> Wait, kill that last one. Yeah, yeah, there you go. And now all of a sudden, Red is in a position where he has no army anymore. Chunky Magnet should know that he's down here. I don't like Red's decision now to get those villagers off of stone because if he had dropped a castle in the middle over here that could have potentially been huge for him uh, and he's not going to spot this in time that tc is going to go up chunky definitely committing to a whole bunch of knights but so is red red looking to free tc boom greedy greedy boy also i have no idea why my frames are slowly dropping but these knights do not look like they are walking naturally they're like <laughs> they've uh, seen too much they've done too much that ah, looks a little bit better once again this is still all completely open chucky could kind of like walk in but i guess all of the knights are over there as well so mm, uh, this is nice actually kind of catching this out of position would not mind going for some elephants here i know elephants are really really slow and can easily be converted but look at the amount of dead villagers that red is experiencing at this time holy guacamole capture age why are you being a laggy piece of cluck right now there's no flipping way i'm starting over the recording i think we covered the main points over here and i think red might actually be in a spot where if he loses this army over here he might actually just flip the table and be like nah i'm done i'm good it's over yeah like i said this tower is now actually doing damage to uh, this poor dude named larry over here larry over here is going to get an arrow to the face every single oh larry no no larry no yeah that tower could have already been gone a long time ago now sending the knights over to clear that up that is nice but there was really no need for larry to suffer as much as he did three tc boom with monks this this game is never going to end is it but red being way too passive in my opinion not really doing any what 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 gg is called i don't think this game is over at all red has more wood more food and more gold in the bank in addition has more military but yes does have slightly less economy on the flip side red also has three tcs and a monastery in which he could collect relic to make up for the fact that he has less villagers or use it to convert chunky magnets's knights Khmer house rush does it work i'm not so convinced i think we're gonna have to see a little bit more of this before i make up my mind yeah chunky definitely throwing a lot of those villagers at the beginning on the tc i think that actually put him in a negative situ 
situation red collecting a lot more resources but then he also lost like 660 worth of wood but the difference here is more than 660 so oh no Rune. feels like you should have been able to make this happen that one raid was huge though however red could have easily raided with these knights like a counter raid for example uh i don't know like any one of these oh i didn't realize that chunky actually did have three tcs as well regardless don't let your memes just be dreams this is definitely one of the other ones that i have casted and keep on walking poop lord out